we can now access this for a scroll, sure. Uh, is it far? No, it's possible. Okay, <laughs> just bad timing. But you won't make it with a normal dash, you have to jump. Uh, where this light went? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Get back. So rude. Ah oh, damn, <laughs> that's a big fall. Uh, I don't think he survived that. No. I want to kill you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to tear up. What the <laughs> I want. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. No. <laughs> yeah, we need to go. What? I'm losing connection? No! Oh no! Game! <laughs> Don't stop that! Uh. It, like I told you, this game is just so emotional that... It's crazy! No game ever does this to me. I'm so very sorry, reader. We've never seen a bond as strong as the one between you and Quill. And seeing it broken... Hey! ...breaks us all. What now? But you're still here, reader. And you're our last hope. With the Owl Tylen now in possession of four glass, there's only one left that evades him. Should he claim it, the world as we know it will end. Give me back this book! Oh. What, a new story? The fate of Moss now lies in a tale that has turned quite cold to its readers. But it's here where the last glass resides. Long ago, a single creature held all five glass, and their reader became a god. You see, a reader with one glass can be a part of the story, but a reader with all five glass unlocks the means to rewrite the books of Moss, to author fate itself. Oh. And this reader had hate in their heart. 
twofold became torched. The poor creature's will lost to the reader's own, and the world of moss suffered a great unmaking. I'm having some artifacts. I'm not sure what's going on. But the good creatures of moss united together, seized the glass, and cast its omnipotent reader from their world forever. That any mortal survived that time was nothing short of a miracle. As time passed, champions rose and fell. Peace, however fragile, didn't come until the truce. The glass was divided between five realms, each vowing never to combine it again. But stories retold tend to fade with age, and history too often repeats. Everyone had a reader. I did not know that. Which brings us to the Owl Tylan, who thought himself wise beyond all the creatures of Moss. Forsaken by his own for this hubris, Tylan found kinship with another outcast, a meddling starthing named Adurin. Like all starthings, Adurin was immortal, but he loved the mess of mortality. How in their blink of life, mortals needed one another. So, anxious to impress his new friend, he helped Tylan steal his first glass from a realm grown complacent. You traitor! Uh! I find you. Such an act was ruled a crime among the Starthing's own, with a punishment Adurin refused to accept. He was cursed to become that which he loved most. Mortal. And in 100 years and a day, he would die his final death. Desperate, Adurin revealed to Tylan the power of the five glass combined. Adurin hoped his twofold friend could use it to undo his own damnation. Tylan hungered to hold such domain. And so they stole another, then forged an army to steal it all. Then came the Cinder Knight, the night they would claim all five glass. But they failed, and enraged whispers befell Tylan's ears. A Durin sabotaged us several times with that cursed starving. Let him die. And the owl obeyed. Since then, Tylan has hexed and hunted every corner of Moss, and now only one glass eludes him. Lucky for us, the one who holds it hides herself well. But she vowed long ago never to answer the call of a reader. Oh, we're gonna play as a second character. Uh, as much as I want to go back to Quill, she needs time. <laughs> Nothing made Sahima's weary blood boil more than the starving Adurin and his endless tricks. She tried to ignore him, but he kept rambling on about a twofold champion who'd killed the serpent Sarpog. I told you last time, if I saw you again, I'd kill you. <laughs> Ghostface? But where's the kid? Not again. Fuck me. Hey. She'd been haunted by these monstrous readers her whole life. Why me? Why me? This wasn't the plan. Wait, I'm confused if it's the one that betrayed us or not. Go 
ghosties in the snow. Quill's a no-show. But where'd the glass go? If that makes your glass the last, then... I'll be right back. Good riddance. Thought Sahima as she watched the starthing buzz off. But now she needed to shake this vile reader. Yeah, I don't know how you want to do that. <laughs> Like how you wanna escape. <laughs> uh. Well? <laughs> it was no use. There was no escaping this one. You're not welcome here, reader. I work alone. Chills spread down Sahima's spine. Pylon and the Arcane were tearing Moss apart. Wow. It's crazy. It reminded her of the Cinder Knight. Maybe worse. There would be no hiding. They'd be coming for her soon enough. She had to fight, even if that meant playing into this reader's hands. Now that makes sense why we have different weapons. It's a different character, what the hell? Can she dash? Whoa. What now? Cool. Ah, Quilla Quilla. That was such a turn of events, like... I essentially started recording again, and I'm welcomed by death. Amazing. <laughs> What's this? I don't know what's going on, maybe you'll see it in the footage or not, but uh, something's going on when I'm turning my head. The graphics skip. Uh -huh. We'll make a good team, don't worry. Let's test the combat. Well, this day just keeps getting better. <laughs> Sahima grumbled to herself. The arcane were closer than ever. She'd need to work fast. A mine? Ow. Oh yeah, I'll have fun with it. It's mind drones. Are those like chakrams homing? Not necessarily. I can make some trick attacks. You're a gymnast, huh? Where did that go? Yeah, I like the variety. I thought Quill would have track runs, but apparently not. 
Do you have a scroll here? It doesn't seem like it. 